Um, this is the uh, Paranoid Poets Conspiracy Rant number 168. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you want me to pick that tissue, snotty tissue up? One, did you know that our children are being taught history by the National Security Agency? Did you count the number of pathogens hibernating in your last burrito slash crepe slash falafel slash yuppie wrap sandwich alternative? <laughs> Do you remember every person that you have sexually objectified in this room this evening? <laughs> Would you believe me if I told you that Charlie Manson was a patsy for black ops intelligence? Did someone point out the virus sitting above you on the food chain? Have you noticed our entire species living in an air bubble that's going to pop someday? When? exactly was the last time that you forgot to masturbate <laughs> doesn't it seem like the other time doesn't it seem like the other side of town is haunted and why is it that so many of our brilliant young independent poets invest so much of their valuable time crucifying all of the older, slightly less brilliant mainstream poets because there can't merely be cleverness. There can't merely be virtuosity for virtuosity's sake. There must be humor, and humor means that someone is going to get hurt. There must be humor, or we are going to be dragging the corpse of academia around behind us forever. And perhaps that's why that we persist in this game as business of usual. What is the passing of the moment in front of us that we're also desperately trying to name, but the continuous interlude of the lyrical prelude in which all of us are just simply hoping to break out our oh-so-tasteful galleries of agitporn. <laughs> oh, wasn't it romantic? Remembering all of our individual and collective high points in a timeline pointing to a source that we came all came here to search for an Easter egg hunt for common consciousness by poets who were the first lawyers, poets who were the first tag artists, poets who were the first clergy in an Eden of their making. But if it is the sacred for which all of you sake, then you must take the Hajj of your life into that big theater for hymnals and chants of the interior body. Because some of those poets out there don't know how to love their Lilith, even though she's there for all of us. Don't complain to me that she's a hard bitch. She's the medicine you need. Yeah. I know. Because I saw this brother riding on the bar train the other day. He was, you know, holding his baby girl in his arms, and he wanted so badly to be loved by all the young teen dreamers dolled up for the season. But his baby girl was squirming in his arms. His baby girl was breaking down his cool in front of the hotties. A man unbabed by his baby. <laughs> and it ain't the first time or the last time it's gone down quite like this. And so this, this secular, this, this public transit temple careens down the path of the secular left hand once more because some poets know, just don't know their will. And you don't have to ball her to love her. Break it down like you mean it. Brother. Because after all, isn't sex just another form of prayer? Reminding us how close we lounge next to the reptiles inside that big theater. And after all that's said and done, so what? So the fuck what? After all that's said and done, there's still the moment in front of us. This little motherfucker right here in front of our noses, still crying out for our attention. Still crying out for our naming. And once you have engaged in this practice of attention and naming, you'll never be asked to stop you'll be lost in a gaping maw. You'll be lost in a process of singing, smoking, sucking, eating, licking, gnashing, swallowing, and breathing, all in search of a construct which may or may not belong to God, 
And regardless, you must always keep in mind that this is always a two-way street. Do you wish to record the death of Western civilization? Well, please do take a number and stand in line because it is work that sets the self-analyzing monkey free in this elegy. Writer, seduce thyself and know that the inner heaven cylinder is a place in which you will see through the constructs. Man, I tried to be an atheist. I tried not to believe. But ever since dawn light came to the Mojave Redlands, this is one exorcism that never ends. And language poetry, language poetry, thy cup runneth over and spills out into the greater Los Angeles basin with no <laughs> regard with whom you may drown along the way. And yet the survivors will be stronger in the end for this flood over the world's a stage where that great curtain remains, the great colonizer of context beneath which, yes, alas, the wizard is naked and horny and luring at Dorothy. <laughs> But at least each and every one of us can be thankful for the united auto workers who remind each and every one, every one of us each and every day why Freddie Hagel and crazy Karl Marx keep hanging around like the true jazz men they are, riffing the apocalypse fantastic from the edge of their felt pork pie specials, all the while asking that each and every one of us crucify them again and again so that some old mad poet's prophecy just might come true. Yeah!